guys, my name is Auntie Roro. Welcome to your favorite family show, Ask Auntie Roro. And on this show, I'll be answering your question from all areas of life. Before I start, let me quickly put out my disclaimer. Kindly note that all solutions, all advices are followed strictly at doer's risk. Thank you very much. Now to the show proper. I have two scintillating questions today. But before I jump into those questions, in case you are joining me for the first time today, I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Auntie Roro, where I film about storytelling, lifestyle, and humor. I want you to take that a step further by subscribing to my YouTube channel, Auntie Roro. And I also would love for you to follow me on my Instagram page at Adironke Alex. Do not forget to watch my video, like, comment, share amongst your circle. Thank you very much. Now to the show proper. So my first question is, I was denied visa and banned in America. Imagine, because of falsification of documents, really, during the interview. Will this affect my moving to Canada when my wife, who is a permanent resident, applies for me? I go through the question again. I was denied visa in America because of falsification of documents during my interview. Will this affect me, my moving to Canada, when my wife, who is a permanent resident, applies for me? <laughs> Nothing where Musa no go see forget. You are definitely part of our problem in this world. You falsify a document and you were banned. Very good. Now, when you were banned, why didn't you ask those people that banned you that? Please, so which area does this my bank cover? Does it cover Canada? Can I still go to Canada? I don't even understand. Why are you not asking if they will ban you from Nigeria? Because they are the ones that can tell you the areas covered by the ban. I cannot tell you. So what I would advise you to do is you write them a letter or whatever means they or maybe you go back there and you say, excuse me, sorry old I didn't ask question properly down at that time that you banned me. Please I want to know. This ban that you gave me, does it cover Canada? Or let them list out the areas that the ban covers. Me, I cannot help you. Most sorry, no. On to my second question. I want you to listen to this one too. My 16-year-old son dropped out of school for his YouTube channel. 64 subscribers. How do I convince him to return back? Hey, or how do I convince him to go back to school? Let me repeat the question. My 16-year-old son dropped out of school because of his YouTube channel in bracket 64 subscribers. How do I convince him to go back to school? Holy shit, she, me and your son, we are at the same level. 63, 64, two gay for no difference. Hey, but which kind? Which kind of children do we have these days? Please, what is his plan, Gunga? I, we need to ask him. You need to ask him. Since he dropped out of school, which certificate will YouTube give him after four years? Is he aware that there's no real profession called YouTuber? Maybe because he used to see when we post him on Instagram, he say hashtag YouTuber. All those things are words that were coined on Instagram. There is no, there is no profession called Instagram. Hey, I remember one song. He said, "Why do ya why ya why do you have a way? Yeah, the way we bat the way we bat the hell. He's saying that you will suffer when hunger pan eats you. Ah, you see, whatever he is doing with on YouTube now, he can combine it with the school, you know, let him not be deceived. Besides, schooling has a duration, and in no time, he will be done with schooling. It's possible that it is one or two of the subjects that is giving him a headache that he say, ah, oh my God, 
only inform me I don't do me. Because of that, I want to drop out of school. It's not because he does not like school or because he likes YouTube channel. Once he is done with school, maybe four years, maybe pata pata polongo do eight years, he will now face his YouTube squad. Now we will really now see how passionate he is about that YouTube Abby, so that we will know that really indeed he wants to be YouTubing. Thank you very much. Although this can now be an indication of something deeper, it might be because he's having some difficulty with his subject. So you can either help him with it, or maybe you can you can take him to see a counselor that would better talk to him about the importance of schooling. Schooling or YouTube is not an alternative to schooling. So let him be aware of that. This marks the end of Ask and Tiroro sessions for today. Before I go, I just want to say that for those of us who are going to the protest ground for the ENTAS, ENTSWAT, and whatever it is that is against the progress of Nigeria as a nation, I want, I want us to be careful. I personally am in full support. Like, I did there give it by my heart. They there with the people who are protesting because we are... We know that Nigeria can be better. We are not doing as much as we can currently do as a nation. But I just want to implore us to be careful. We don't need to resort to violence. And I hope that the police or the government too have such a mindset. I say one Nigeria and Nigeria. You see now in solidarity to Nigeria, I decided to wear green today. Even though this is not Nigeria's shade of green. But I bet green are green. So I say let me wear green in solidarity to those who are protesting because we want a better nigeria like i said this marks the end of the show in case you have any question you can send it to my mail antiroro1 at gmail.com or if you are like me and you are a bit shy you are already watching the video you can always send your question you can drop your question either on you can drop a question in my comment section below and be sure that i'm going to pick it up and address it next weekend i love you Keep keeping safe and keep taking care of yourself. Ah, oh, take care of yourself for me. Even if you don't have any other reason. For me, it's sufficient. Bye. Bye, guys. I love you. Bye, guys. I love you. Oh, I like the sign of that. Bye, guys. I love you. Bye.